feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign, a sign So somebody tried to break into my truck. Let's uh, let's talk about it. So first thing, I have to climb in through the passenger side because the door is completely disabled on the driver's side. But let's uh, take a look here. You can see where they punch through and knock that guy out on the inside. Okay, so just a uh, talking head segment here, just kind of give a rundown of what happened. So, first off, Fergus tore some stitches and he was uh, wallering in pain. It was something internal, so we had to take him into the emergency room vet where they had x ray and ultrasound so they could actually check, see what was going on. So, it was Sunday, and the uh, closest closest uh, veterinary hospital with emergency room that had the equipment necessary to check him out was in San Antonio about a two hour drive away. So we, uh, so I loaded him up, took him into San Antonio. Uh, once they gave us the okay to come in cause it's emergency room on a Sunday, the only one that's open. So they were busy. Uh, whoa. So they were extremely busy. Uh, anyway, so uh, we got into there around three o'clock in the afternoon to drop him off and get him checked in. Um, and then uh, I needed to stay close by in case they needed me to sign any additional paperwork or, or whatnot or come back in to help out because he was uh, in extreme pain and was kind of like snipping at people be whenever they touched his belly because he didn't like it. So I had to help him uh, muzzle him up. Um, but anyways, all that aside, I had to burn uh, four to six hours while they were working on him, checking him out, making sure that he wasn't bleeding internally and all that type of stuff. So. Uh, I went out and got some food, uh, then went to a movie theater and uh, just caught a movie. And uh, while I was inside the movie theater, somebody broke into the car attempting to steal it. Uh, talking to the police officer, he was saying that it's a pretty common thing in San Antonio that they will cruise through movie theater parking lots and look for vehicles because while you're in the movie theater, they can steal your vehicle and get to Mexico before you can even call the police because you're inside watching a movie for two to three hours and uh, they'll they'll have it across the border to Mexico stripping it for parts before you can uh, even call them to let them know that it happened. The camera's about to fall. There we go. So um, also I have very limited knowledge of how breaking into Ford F1 or F350 works but what the police officer was telling me is that they used a crowbar to pry up the door handle, then punched a rod through the side of the window to knock the, um, the door latch, this guy, right here. So they knock that off, and then they can fish a wire up through the where they pried the door handle off and reach it through that hole on the inside to pull the door handle from the inside of the truck to open the door. Um, but... Um, good thing criminals aren't smart you know like that's why they're doing crime in the first place but this one has a, uh, a NAS security system installed which disables the door when the glass is broken and also disables the vehicle when um, a break-in is detected so alarm went off criminals ran they realized that they were trying to break into a vehicle that they couldn't get into just this hold on there we go, hopefully that's still at a good angle. But anyway, so they uh, triggered the alarm system and most likely took off because they realized they couldn't steal the vehicle at that point, but already caused the damage to the car. Uh, completely disabled the driver's side door, it can't open, and broke the window. So, um, when I'm coming out of the movie theater, walk up to the car, I'm thinking, okay, maybe, uh, like, like w w when I saw it from a distance, I was thinking, it, like, it looked like a bullet hole had hit the car, and I was thinking, what the hell, like, did I catch a stray bullet from, uh, from random gunfire somewhere? Uh, but then when I got closer, I realized that it was actually punched through and pried open, but I'm just thinking, I don't want to be standing in the middle of this parking lot as, uh, uh, with somebody having trying to break into the vehicle because they might be there to try and grab the key from me to steal the vehicle. 
So I hightail it back inside the movie theater and let the movie theater staff know that I got the break in. So they let me hang out inside while I was calling the police and, uh, and whatnot. And a couple of them went with me back out into the parking lot to start uh, looking at stuff and checking the vehicle to see if we could even get it started. Um, I was able to open the passenger side uh, using the door lock system and then I had to get into the vehicle and try and figure out how to start it because the uh, vehicle uh, tamper control system was triggered and the vehicle wouldn't start. Uh, so I'm sitting there on my phone trying to figure out how to disable the vehicle management system and then about um, 300 plus cars just all of a sudden start swarming the parking lot and spinning donuts and shooting Roman candles off in every direction and hooting and hollering and they're actually doing donuts around the outside of my truck and I'm sitting there like completely disabled can't move in and I'm thinking I'm gonna need, somebody's gonna crash into me and completely total the thing so reading through trying to figure out how to get the the system restarted um, I figured out you have to pull out the center console set the key in there for five minutes and then it resets the system and turns off the off the thing in a little little receptacle that you can plug the key in underneath the cup holders and so i'm sitting there for five minutes while all these cars are spinning around me and doing all kinds of crazy shit trying to get my car started finally get it started and drive around the back of the uh, place while i'm on the phone with the police saying that like <laughs> there's a freaking street takeover here i have to relocate and i like, can't get my car started and stuff like that so they're like oh officers immediately on the way type thing um, but anyway, so I was able to get out of there without taking any extra damage to the vehicle, luckily. And um, around the back of the back of the thing, the police officer showed up, gave me the whole rundown of, of like how the break-in works and stuff like that, and got the police report. Um, and yeah, and got out of there okay. And uh, nice, exciting night. And now dealing with the process of trying to figure out how to get the insurance claim processed within the five weeks that we're here uh, because talking with three or four different shops I can't even remember how many have called now but uh, multiple shops they're all talking about they don't even know whether they're going to be able to get the parts in within the next three to six months because there's so many supply chain shortages right now so I don't even know if we'll be able to get the truck into a shop to even get an estimate before we're back on the road heading down and so this is going to be an interesting process dealing with insurance trying to figure out how we're going to get it fixed somewhere along the road popping down while i can't even get out the driver's side door have to climb over and get out the passenger side just to get in and out of the vehicle even like to go to gas stations and fill up with gas so uh yeah just a little stressed right now trying to figure things out and i'll keep you posted on how it all goes and let you know you know the breakdown I'm going to do a little bit of research on uh, how people break into F-350s and see if I can maybe link something in the uh, description of, of somebody explaining the process of how somebody broke into my car over here. Um, but, but yeah. And also just got to point out the irony of like the hole that they punched through is right here and the warning about the security system sticker is right there next to it so punching through they, sh they could obviously see the sticker right there with the hole there it's like if you punch this window it will be deactivated uh, can't read i'll just do it anyway i never really asked to be brought into this place you want to love me well then baby have a taste all the highs and the lows no you'll never be the same i don't really want to hurt you but i can't control the pain if you're sticking by my side maybe we could be okay 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 maybe you could be the change i need today i promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey as you fade away